Hi students, this video contains the discussions of questions from J Main 2024 entrance examinations from the chapter Chemical Kinetics. Question number 1. The following data were obtained during the first order thermal decomposition of a gas capital A at constant only. The reaction given is A gas gives 2B gas plus C gas. The total pressure of capital A at a different time are given. When time is equal to 0 seconds, the total pressure is 0 0.1 atmosphere. When time is equal to 115 seconds, the total pressure is 0 0.28 atmosphere. The rate constant of the reaction is dash into 10 raised to minus 2, second raised to minus 1. In bracket, nearest integer. See here, the equation for a first order reaction is given, which is a gas giving 2B gas plus C gas. Here the initial pressure of A is given as 0 0.1 atmosphere. We know pressure is directly proportional to number moles. So we can take it as initial number moles of A. That is when T is equal to 0, the number of moles of A is equal to 0 0.1. At that time B and C were not formed. Therefore their number of moles is equal to 0. When T is equal to 115 seconds, we assume that X moles of A has dissociated. Then number of moles of A remaining is equal to 0 0.1 minus X. And number of moles of B formed is equal to 2X and C is equal to X. Because 1 mole of A gives 2 mole of B and 1 mole of C according to the equation. Then the total number of moles when time T is equal to 115 seconds is equal to 0 0.1 minus X plus 2X plus X that is equal to 0 0.1 plus 2X. This 0.1 plus 2x is the total number of moles when time t is equal to 115 seconds, which is proportional to the pressure at t is equal to 115 seconds. Therefore, 0.1 plus 2x, that is the total pressure at 115 seconds, which is given as 0.28 atmosphere. Therefore, 2x is equal to 0.28 minus 0.1, that is equal to 0.18. Therefore, x is equal to 0.09. X is a number of moles of A disintegrated when T is equal to 115 seconds. For a first order reaction, the rate constant K is equal to 2.303 divided by T into log R0 divided by RT. Here R0 is the initial concentration of reactant and RT is its final concentration. Here R0 is given as 0.1 and RT is equal to 0.1 minus X. Here x is equal to 0 0.09. Substituting these values, the equation becomes k is equal to 2.303 divided by 115 into log 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 minus 0 0.09. 0 0.1 minus 0 0.09 is 0 0.01. This ratio is equal to 10. Therefore, 2.303 divided by 115 in the log 10, log 10 is equal to 1, therefore k is equal to 2.303 divided by 115, that is equal to 0 0.02 second raised to minus 1, this is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 second raised to minus 1. So here the integer answer is 2. Then question number 2, the ratio of C14 divided by C12 in a piece of wood is 1 by 8th part that of the atmosphere. If half life of C14 is 5730 years, the age of wood sample is dash years. Here in this question, C14 by C12 of a piece of wood divided by that in the atmosphere is given as 1 by 8. Also the half life period of C14 radioactive isotope is given. We need to find out the age of that piece of wood. We know that radioactivity is a first order reaction. For a first order reaction, the time taken for the complete disintegration T is equal to 2.303 divided by K into log R0 by RT. R0 is the initial concentration. Here it is equal to C14 by C12 of atmosphere. And final concentration RT is equal to C14 divided by C12 of wood. We know K is equal to 0.693 divided by T half. Therefore, equation becomes T is equal to 2.303 by 0.693 divided by T half into log R0 divided by RT. 
But here, the C14 by C12 of wood divided by C14 divided by C12 of atmosphere is given as 1 by 8. Therefore, R0 by RT is equal to 1 by 1 by 8, that is equal to 8. Then substituting for R0 by RT, the equation becomes T is equal to 2.303 divided by 0.693 by T half. T half is 5730 years into log 8. Here we can cancel 2.303 and 0.693. Thus the denominator becomes 0 0.3010. 0 0.3010 is log 2. And we can write 5730 in the numerator. Thus the equation becomes T is equal to 5730 into 3 log 2. 3 log 2 is log 8 divided by log 2. This log 2 log 2 cancel each other. Thus T is equal to 5730 into 3. That is equal to 17190 years. So here the answer is 17190. For a first order reaction, the time taken for the complete reaction T is equal to 2.303 divided by K into log R0 divided by RT. Therefore, the time taken for 99.9% completion is equal to 2.303 by K into log initial concentration can be taken as 100. And the final concentration, 99.9% .9 is completed. Therefore, final concentration is 0 0.1. This is equation number 1. Then time taken for 50% completion, that is T half is equal to 2.303 by K into log 100 divided by 50. This is equation number 2. Equation number 1 divided by 2, that is T 99.9% .9 divided by T 50% is equal to log 10 ratio 3. This ratio is 10 raise to 3 divided by log 2. Log 10 raise to 3 is 3 and log 2 is approximately 0 0.3. Therefore, it is approximately equal to 10 times. That is T 99.9% .9 is equal to 10 times T half. Therefore, here the answer is 10. Then question number 4. Consider the following data for the given reaction 2HA gas giving H2 gas plus I2 gas. The rate of reaction at a different concentration of HA are given. When concentration of HA is equal to 0 0.005 moles per liter, the rate of reaction is equal to 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per liter per second. When concentration of HA is equal to 0 0.01 moles per liter, the rate of reaction is equal to 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles per liter per second. When concentration is equal to 0 0.02 moles per liter, the rate of reaction is equal to 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 2 moles per liter per second. The order of reaction is dash. See here in this question, the given reaction is 2HI reversibly gives H2 plus I2. Here the concentration of HA in moles per liter and the corresponding rate of reaction in moles per liter per second are given. We need to find out the order of reaction. Here the rate of reaction R is equal to rate constant K into concentration of the reactant that is HA raised to N. Where N is the order of reaction, we need to find out N. Then substituting rate and concentration of HA from the first two conditions, we will get two different equations, equation number 1 and 2. Then dividing equation number 2 divided by 1, we will get 4 is equal to 2 raised to n. That is n is equal to 2. That means the order of reaction is 2. So here the answer is 2. Then question number 5. The half-life of a radioisotopic bromine 82 is 36 hours. The fraction which remains after one day is dash into 10 raised to minus 2. Given anti log of 0 0.2006 is equal to 1.587. We know for a first order reaction, the total time taken for the complete reaction small t is equal to 2.303 divided by k into log R0 divided by RT. Here k is a rate constant, R0 is the initial concentration of reactant and RT is its final concentration. Here T half of bromine 82 is given as 36 hours and the time taken for the complete reaction is equal to 1 day or 24 hours. Substituting these values, the equation becomes 24 is equal to 2.303 divided by 
is equal to 0.693 by t half in the log r0 by rt. Here t half is equal to 36. Now we can cancel 0 0.693 using 2.303. Thus the denominator becomes 0 0.3010. And we can bring this 36 in the numerator. Thus the equation becomes 24 is equal to 36 divided by 0 0.3010 into log r0 by rt. Thus log r0 divided by rt is equal to 24 into 0 0.3010 divided by 36 that is equal to 0 0.2006. Therefore r0 divided by rt is equal to anti log of 0 0.2006 which is equal to 1.587. That means r0 divided by rt is equal to 1.587. But we need to find out the reciprocal of this ratio rt divided by r0 that is a fraction of bromine remains after one day which is equal to 1 by 1.587 this is equal to 0 0.6301 that is equal to 63.01 into 10 raised to minus 2 so here the answer is 63